Good afternoon. How's everyone today? Good. Excellent. So I'm Dr. Richard Pan. I'm your state senator representing the Sacramento region. And it's certainly my pleasure to welcome all of you here today, especially all of you who have traveled to be here. And I want to welcome you to my district. And I also want to thank APAPA for hosting this year's 17th annual statewide voters education candidate forum. We have. We have an amazing panel of legislators, candidates, and community leaders gathered here together to articulate their vision for Asian Americans and, and more uh, here in California. And uh, we've, in fact, we've heard already from the candidates for state controller. We're also going to hear from candidates for secretary of state, treasurer, congressional candidates for district seven, attorney general, governor, lieutenant governor. And each of these positions has a profound influence on policy that will drive the advancement of Asian American and Pacific Islanders in our communities. Now, I know that certainly as we are approaching uh, Election Day, and actually one could argue with early voting, Election Day actually is starting next week, it's actually Election Month, uh, that how important it is for uh, forums like this so that people can uh, pierce through really what seems to be a very challenging time in our democracy where, uh, you know, with a single tweet, suddenly everyone, they's going one direction or another, and, and certainly for, ma for many people, uh, it can feel like our electoral system uh, may even be broken, but it is not broken if we all vote. And that's why I know why you are here. This is why when you go home, you need to talk to your family and your friends and your neighbors and urge them to vote. Because it's so very important that everyone is counted and they have their say. And that's how that happens in our process, is by people coming out and voting. Uh, I know that the Asian American Pacific Islander community, unfortunately, uh, votes at one of the lowest rates of any uh, uh, ethnic group. Uh, we need to work harder to be sure that every one of us votes. But that actually applies across the board as well. So no matter what your background is, we need you to vote because that's how your voice is heard. Now, as chair of the uh, Senate Select Committee on Asian Pacific Islander Affairs, I've continued to work with my colleagues uh, to provide a forum such as this one tonight for the API community to communicate their issues and concerns and to encourage the advancement of issues of importance to our community. And certainly as a proud member of the Asian Pacific Islander Legislative Caucus, we are proud to work with uh, other members to make sure your voices are being heard. So certainly th this afternoon's forum would not be possible uh, without uh, certainly the uh, tremendous uh, efforts of uh, APAPA, and I want to again uh, recognize uh, the founder of APAPA, C.C. Yen, and uh, Regina Yen, and all the APAPA leadership uh, for your uh, dedication to public affairs and, and sponsoring and hosting this forum and other activities. So let's give a round of applause again to the <laughs> to uh, uh, also recognize, uh, I know he's going to be coming up shortly, uh, a good friend of mine and colleague on the APA Legislative Caucus, Assemblymember Phil Ting. Uh, Assemblymember Ting, who's from San Francisco, has worked tirelessly to make sure that the interests of the Asian Americans are being heard in the state capitol. And I do want to also congratulate him uh, for uh, being recognized as this year's APAPA's 2018 Legislator of the Year. And I know that he will give him a round of applause when he comes up to accept that award. So I appreciate you taking your time out uh, here today to spend this afternoon listening to the candidates, uh, hearing people and saying that, you know what, it's not about the headlines, it's not about the tweets. I care about our democracy. I care about our community. I'm going to take my time to hear directly from the candidates, to pierce through the noise and uh, so forth, and be sure that my vote is made and my vote counts, and I'm gonna also share that with my friends, my family, my neighbors, because that's how we're gonna be stronger together, that's how we're gonna be successful. And again, I wanna thank Papa for giving this opportunity to all of us, to all of us, so that we can come together and make our democracy strong. Thank you so very much. Thank you.